Hmm. That was an interesting opening. Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome to Silent Hill 4 The Room. Now, this is the game that made me uh, give up on the Silent Hill franchise. I'd never touched another Silent Hill game again until, well, the PT teaser back on the PS4. Um, I don't, I can't even remember why I stopped playing. I think, I can't even remember when, 2004 this game came out, so I was about, fucking hell, how old was I? 12, 13, I think. And it didn't, okay, I think back then I just found the game boring, but I want to revisit and play through the other Silent Hill games, so let's go. Let's crack on. Oh, 2004. It was two years ago that Henry Townsend moved into room 302 at South Ashfield Heights. An apartment building in the medium-sized city of Ashfield, Henry was happy and enjoying his new life. But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a recurring dream each night. One, one other thing. He couldn't leave room 302. No, I was 17 or 18 in 2004, sorry. Okay, first person. Ah! What? What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell has happened to it? Anything to look at? It? Is this really my room? Seems that way. Door shut tight, it won't open at all. Oh God, the controls are a bit skew -if. It's in terrible shape, the air is so heavy, my head hurts. I don't feel like washing my hands right now. I'm not interested in food at all, my head, it hurts. All right. What is this photo? It's all faded and I can't see it well. Oh, hello. Creepy, it looks like a face. It probably is a face. Who are all these people? 21 people, it can't be, why are they here? It's just a picture, dude. Who is this guy? Pretty sure that might be you. It's part of an old picture book. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. One day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends at Wish House. And everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. It's ripped here and I can't read anymore. Alright. But it keeps wanting to pull away. Window, I can't get it open. These books, they're not mine. Hey, but why is the stereo making that noise? I don't even know what this is. Fair enough. Where did this big TV come from? I thought I had a record player here. 
What? Okay. I don't think this place is going to pass inspection. Oh, hello. the thing that happened the dude oh man what a dream all right It's still not working. What if I was supposed to take note of the uh, of that number he dialed? It's working now. Very weird. All right. It's that lake in Silent Hill. I went sightseeing there a few years ago. I like this photo because it really captures the beauty and tranquility of the trees and lake there. Put this up on the wall right after I moved here. All right. There are a lot of small items here, but none of them uh, is particularly interesting. I might find them interesting. Now, well, this is very PlayStation 2 era graphics. All right. Just watch the random room walk down the set.
Oh no, okay, you're just people now. You're the same people. And you just walked right through each other. That's perfectly normal behaviour. Anything else? Oh, okay. Bar Southfield, 555-3750. Let's make a note of that. Five, five, five. It might not. It might not be anything, but just to make sure. Three, seven, five, zero. <laughs> Hotel South Ashfield. All right. Doesn't seem to be anything too interesting around here. There's nothing to do here. Well. That's not st strictly true, is it? I don't feel like washing my face right now. But you've just woken up. Probably a good idea. Just a normal bathroom. Nothing has changed since I moved here two years ago. I don't feel like taking a shower now. Fair, fair enough. Just the typical stuff you find around a, a sink. Nothing particularly interesting. Well, first, that's not a sink. Okay. Camera's really fighting me for some reason. This chest could hold a lot of stuff. Okay, I didn't even select to look at it. All right, just the game teaching me things. All right. It's weird. A few days ago, the power to my TV and my VCR just cut out. Ever since I started having those nightmares, that's not good. What's that? Looks like a scrap from some book. Man, this thing looks like it was written ages ago. Uh, through the ritual of the Holy Assumption, he built a world. It exists in a space separate from the world of our Lord. More accurately, it is in within, yet it is within, yet without the Lord's world. What? Unlike the world of our Lord, it is a world in extreme flux. Unexpected doors or walls, moving floors, odd creatures. A world only he can control. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? This part of the book is too damaged to read. It is important to travel lightly in that world. He who carries too heavy a burden will regret it. It's too dangerous to read anymore. All right, well, that was a load of waffle. And next, we'll be taking a look at the weather. Tonight, we can expect scattered clouds clearing by morning. Tomorrow looks to be quite a nice day with a warm and sunny weather continuing through the evening and the weekend. We can expect more of the same. So I hope you all get out there and uh, enjoy your weekend. I shall endeavour to do so. What's outside this window? Uh, spying on my neighbours. There's the train station, well, subway, I think they call it in America. Yeah, they're tea posing. All right. Um, all right, okay. This is the saving. All right. Good to know. 
room 302. Uh, this is a photo of the outside of the South Ashfield Heights. I was immediately attracted by the outside of the building as well as the view from the window here. Why? When I moved here two years ago, I almost felt like I was being drawn here. I got this photo from Frank Sunderland, the super here at South Ashfield Heights. Fair enough. God, the camera's really fighting me for some reason. It's a photo of me as a kid and then when I graduated from high school. I really don't feel like cooking right now. Same. The downside when you're single and you live alone, you really can't be bothered to cook. Because what's the point of cooking just for yourself? What have we got here? There are tools and things on the ground. Washing, it's a washing machine, I don't need that right now. Fair enough. Nothing interesting at the moment. And this area's really changed since I moved in. All right, so far, just a normal apartment. Five days ago, that's when I first had the nightmare. I haven't been able to get out of my room since. The phone doesn't work, the TV doesn't work, I can't even get anybody to hear me. My whole world has suddenly turned insane. My door's chained up, the windows are sealed shut. And on top of that, someone chained the door from the inside. How am I going to get out of get out of here? Well, we have tools. Don't go out, Walter. Is that you? Is your name Walter? What's going on here? That's uh, Eileen Galvin from next door. What's with all the handprints on the wall? My luck changes before the party. Fifteen handprints. All right. How was that? That's what I said, more or less. In here? Um. Call me a cynic, but I don't think that's right. What? I don't know, but that pipe looks like it might be useful. I wonder if I can get out this way. The sewage pipe is broken too. On the pipe, part hanging down. Yes, steel pipe. There's a hole, I must enter it, that's the way it goes. Oh, that's trippy.
This is a very long loading screen. At least it's interactive. That's something, I guess. Well, this this isn't right. What? I think the last time I played this, I got as far as getting down to the subway station. I really didn't make it that far into this game. What the hell indeed, Walter? I'm just going to assume that's your name. Talk to you in a second. So you think this is a dream, huh? Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? Anyway, I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. Say, will you help me find it? I'm kind of scared all alone. Yeah, you really I'll seem it. I'll do a special favor for you later. It's just a dream, so I might as well have some fun. Right. I do not believe that is how people talk to each other in real life. I interact with you at all. No, but I have a hand-drawn map. That's good to know. Okay. All right, now it's happening. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 I think I'm gonna puke. Oh, 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 hmm. That's not the door she went in. The 
Okay. Yeah, just, yeah, that's a perfectly normal reaction to have to that. Cynthia, you all right? I don't think anyone's in there. Where could this crazy hole lead to? No, not yet. Okay, so she's not in here. Sounds like there's more dogs around here. Looks like there's no one in there. No one in there. All right. To find some health. Some kind of station guide, but uh, the text is all blurry, it's totally useless. Alright. Well, I think I might go back to that hole. I think this is what the way I'm supposed to go. Yes, enter the hole. Back in the room. What? Another dream. But it seems 
so real? Or could it be? Was I really inside that woman's dream? Ah, oh, that's just stupid. What am I thinking? Exactly. What are you thinking? Well, I've got all my health back. Right, let's get to that book. And I think we'll call this an episode. There we go. Perfect. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been sick later. This has been Silent Hill 4, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.